Hey guys, we are at Wheeler Peak, uh, 10,000 feet elevation here in Great Basin National Park. And I just wanted to show you my snacks and how they are affected by the air pressure up here because when you get higher in altitude and I'm out of breath, the air is thinner. Uh, the molecules aren't as densely packed. The air pressure is not pressing in on the bag as hard as it was at a lower elevation where these were packaged. So the air pressure inside is pushing out on the bags and making them fill up more than they were at a lower altitude. And I can shake all the chips around in there. They're like big balloons ready to pop. In fact, I thought when we crested 10,000 feet, the bags were gonna burst, but they didn't. I'll show you what they look like at a lower elevation. All right, so here we are. We've dropped down to 5,300 feet, almost a 5,000 foot drop. We're now in the town of Baker, Nevada. And here's my snacks. Uh, I've got lots of room to crunch the bag now. It's not so puffy. Um, even these, a lot more empty space. I can't shake it like a big empty Mylar balloon and have everything fly around. So now down here at this lower elevation, the molecules are gonna be closer together. So the closer you get to sea level, the more dense the air molecules get. So now the air pressure on the outside of the bag is pushing in harder. And so we've got, it's not all blown up like a balloon uh, because it's pushing harder than the air molecules inside the bag, which would be pushing out. So now my bags have gone back to normal. Lots of space in them. They're not all puffed out. So uh, that's what happens when we have different air pressures at different altitudes.